today is the day. Today is Monday, September the 20th. And it is nine something in the morning. And tonight we are getting an induced labor. Ooh, I'm so excited. And I just get tired. Everybody's prepared. Nobody's prepared right now. I'm prepared because my bag is at the door. Jarrell doesn't have a bag yet. You still need one bag. Just in case I get labor. The night of. But you guys, we slept in our bed the first night. This is y'all's pillow, by the way. It felt so good. So everything is set up beautifully. It's clean. Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm like, it's my baby's tail. Hey, Coolio. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart. That's smart. <laughs> well, you can't run around this bitch and hop Say good morning. <laughs> good morning, <laughs> daddy. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey, man. And good morning. That was real fart. Why are you I'm always farting on camera? Maybe you look like a fart. Mm -hmm. Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> okay, where are you going? All right, you guys. We'll see you <laughs> when we get dressed. <laughs> We're about to go to the hospital. Okay. I gotta go say bye to my baby. I'm gonna go kiss ya, yeah. All right. Literally, we got everything packed. We got a pillow, blanket, toothbrush, toothpaste. I ate like crazy. I just had a, a pint of ice cream. <laughs> But I had a pint of ice cream, y'all. It was so good. Because when um, you go to the hospital, you can't eat until you have the baby. Which pretty much sucks. But they're going to just give me ice water and popsicles all night. Which I'm ready for. Popsicles. So ready for them. So, we are good to go. Daddy's about to... <laughs> Daddy's grub before he goes into hospital jail. <laughs> right. Oh, I cannot wait to see my baby. I probably won't have him tonight. We'll probably have him tomorrow um, because we're getting induced. So we'll see. But come along with us. You guys, we made it to our suite. Welcome to our humble laboe. Is that how you say humble laboe? <laughs> so when you first get in, they ask you to take a urine sample. Now, these are the underwear that I was talking about in mm. my hospital. <laughs> My hospital bag video, they're boy shorts. There used to be a dude named Larry's. <laughs> and they give you some cozy socks and then this beautiful, luxurious gown. All right, you guys, I'm going to get you dressed. <laughs> hospital gown. I look good in this, though. I ain't gonna stunt. Anyway. These are remotes, because that's probably the only door for my TV. Okay. So, because I'm extra. I'm about to unpack my bag. Hi. Oh, let me put my mask on. So. Oh, no. Oh. She wanted to wait until that bag was a little bit empty. 
Not just one side, baby, because it hurt. Yep, I need to take one or two cuts. Oh, What's up, dude? Oh, I'll take it out of here. Guys, first bath. How do you feel, dude? <laughs> huh? That feel good, don't huh? it? With them deep dimples, man. Look at them dimples. No. Oh, I don't know. Feel that? Mm. Oh, that you stole your daddy dimple? Good morning, you guys. Today is September 22nd. It is 3.41 a.m. And it is feeding time. So I am currently uh, trying to breastfeed. Um, it didn't work out so well with Yara. But I did it for a while. Um, I could only put out like one to two ounces of milk. And I eventually had to switch over to formula and mix my breast milk uh, with the formula. Um, so I am literally trying my 100% best to do it this time. So I have my lactation cookies. I have my, these are um, nipple shields. So because I do have inverted nipples, um, I have to put these shields over my nipple for um, him to put in his mouth and to suck um, some of that out. <laughs> so, um, the first, I guess, 24 hours, it hasn't been 24 hours just yet, I'll be at 9.15 a.m. But so far, he is just extremely perfect. Um, he has two dimples. Oh my gosh. He's just beautiful. His name is Jess. J U S S Cooper. Jess Cooper. And oh, it's so surreal, you guys. It happened so fast. Like, at first, they didn't think I was dilated. And all of a sudden, three seconds, it just happened. <laughs> and I just, I just couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe it. Um, so, yeah, we're just trying to get a good feeding in. Um, and then I'm going to burp him and put him, wrap him, swaddle him, put him in his, um, his baby bed. And I'm going to try to get some sleep and wake him back up. Um, I have to feed him every two to three hours, so because it is three, I forgot what time I see. So his next feeding will be at 6 a.m. So we're going to try to get some rest before the next feeding. So he does. They said the more that he continues to latch on and to extract the nipple and to get as much as, um, the milk that he can get out right now um the more my milk production will start to come in and if i can like continue to breastfeed i can eventually just do pumping and um have him latch on throughout the day just to get that contact with the baby um and continue to do like skin to skin um so we can have that bonding with my breast and him, so he can get all of the juices. <laughs> so I just wanted to check in with you guys. I'll see you at 6 a.m. Hi, good morning, you guys. So last night was pretty rough. Um, nothing that mamas can't handle, but he was spitting up a lot. So, um, I believe they said when he was in my womb, he was drinking a lot of fluids. 
So he is, for the first 24 hours, he's going to be spitting that up. Um, and that's what he did. So I could not sleep throughout the night because I was literally terrified of him choking. So every time I heard him gag, I picked him up and burped him and wiped his spit off. And basically, we just went back and forth and sleeping on each other. Uh, but he's doing fine. Um, even when I like breastfed him, um, I saw him spitting it up as well. You can see the color. So, um, but he's pooping good. So he's doing good. Um, he had his hearing test today. He had some of his discharge um, tests ran and he is great. So right now I'm working on breastfeeding. That is one of mommy's hugest things that I really want to accomplish with this pregnancy. Um, so right now, basically, I am spoon feeding uh, my milk in a plastic spoon, literally. And I basically have to kind of like roll my nipple back and push it up and get that milk out at the tip and put it on the spoon and feed him. Um, only because, of course, I told you guys I have inverted nipples and right now it's just not this nipple is not coming out protruding out as much as i would like and this nipple is cracked bleeding and it's extremely sore and raw because he's only on the actual nipple so my lactation nurse is coming in periodically and helping me um, figure out new positions to latch and he latched on this nipple with the uh, breast shield with the um yeah the breast shield and oh the nipple showed i'm sorry and he, we did the football position never tried that one before and i actually liked how it felt it didn't hurt it wasn't sore i was really really happy so when he gets up um but we're probably gonna have to wake him up because it's feeding time i just gave him six drops on the spoon and five drops before he took his test so he has a good amount right now uh, but I want him to start latching on so mama can start producing some real milk some real milk mama need real milk so I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes and we're going home tomorrow oh my goodness I'm ready for real food this food sucks and I'm ready for my bed and Yara I haven't seen my baby since Monday so I'll catch back up with you guys later and tell you guys how the breastfeeding goes um, and if he latches very well and if I like the new latch. So, see you guys soon. Good morning, you guys. So, it has been, I didn't get back on yesterday because I was really focused on breastfeeding and he latched on both of my boobs. Whoop. And I have a great flow right now, and I hope to God that it keeps going. But I was just so focused on that yesterday. But today is the day we leave. We leave the hospital today. I get to see my babies and in my bed. Oh my God, I cannot wait. Uh, right now, I am eating this um, hospital food. It is quite questioning, but um, I need to eat something. So I'm going to show you what I have. We have some oatmeal and bananas because that really helps with breast milk. I have an omelet with mushroom, green peppers, onions, and black olives. I have apple juice, I have grapes, um, and then I got a banana. So, and of course, you always wanna have your water. Always, always, always. So, um, but what's been I think really helping me is not only my diet and what I've been eating and me having him latch on and just pull all the milk that he can but I have been snacking on these and the oatmeal chocolate chip cookies and I had probably like two or three a day um, for like a snack with before breakfast after lunch and then after dinner and I really think that has been helping as well. So I am just so excited. Um, but today, um, he is having his circumcision today. Mm, um, so they said we have to wait at least an hour after that. 
and then um, we can start doing a whole discharge thing. So I have to call Jarrell to come up here once they tell me they're gonna start on that. Um, and I get to go home and I can just, I, I can't wait. I just cannot wait. Um, it's been a great experience here, I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, but they are in and out of your room 24 seven. You can barely even sleep. Um, and as you can see, he's a newborn, he sleeps, right? So mama needs to sleep. And they don't even have creamer for coffee. So I didn't get coffee, but whatever. Thank you so much for coming to this channel um, and welcome to the Boss Mom family. If you love the content that I create, they're just random, fun, mommy vlogs, then please join the family and subscribe. Comment down below and tell me your experience in the hospital if you gave a hospital birth um, or why you wouldn't do a hospital birth. Let's just start some type of conversation, right? Um, so I'll see you guys in a few hours. All right.